How tall is the CN Tower? Or for that matter, how do we find the height of tall buildings? For some structures, you can use repeated patterns like groups of bricks to help you estimate the height. For example, the height of 10 bricks is 68 centimeters, and I count 195 total bricks, so the height of the building is 13.26 meters. If you have an office building with 10 floors, and each floor is 12 feet high, then the building is 120 feet high. What if you can't count something to help you find the height, like for this tall tree? The idea is to use proportionality. Find a straight object, I used a broomstick, and hold it so that your eye is level with your fist, the stick is vertical, and the top of the structure lines up with the top of the stick. Now here's where the geometry comes in. You can measure the horizontal distance from eye to fist, the vertical part of the stick, and the distance to the tree. Proportionality implies that the ratio of these two lengths equals the ratio of these two. Since we can measure three of these quantities, we can find the height of the tree. How about for really tall buildings or mountains? This previous approach is not helpful if the distance to the building is too far or access to the base is difficult. The trick now is to take measurements at two locations. At each location, you can determine the horizontal and vertical measurements like before. You also need the distance between the two measuring points. Doing these measurements with a friend could be helpful. After doing some algebra, can you figure this out yourself? Here's the formula to find the height of the building. Your approximation will be more accurate if you can make the distance d between two measurements large and in general be as accurate as possible. I even built a wooden stand and use a level in an attempt to be more precise. You can even use a car's odometer to measure the distance between the two observation points. So try this yourself. Find the height of a tall structure near you and tell me what you find in the comments section.